Hi, this is Michael Goff, the voice of Deckard Kane, and I invite you to stay a while and listen. I had been working on another project. They just, um, they said, we're, we're working on something else. Had no idea what it was. Uh, and they said, we have this character that we're thinking about and we just would like to see if, if you could read a few lines here and, and do a quick audition. So, I mean, there was a little bit of a description, this older uh, kind of wise wizardish character. Maybe he kind of would sound like an older Sean Connery. It was a nice clue to work with um, because it sort of gave you a, 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 a little path down which, you know, Deckard uh, evolved. There wasn't like the depth or the layers uh, to his character in the beginning, but his sound, it just sort of, it just sort of appeared but it was, yeah, he was a little more perfunctory to begin with. So he would just kind of, you know, appear with his Herodric staff and he'd go, uh, follow me to, to find the next soul stone. Uh, the stakes got higher, right, as, as time went on. He, he just became himself in D2, beyond just being the iconic functionality character that he had been in the beginning. He's got his own issues. It was a, a, a pleasure and a joy to be able to just have more to grab onto and a, a greater range of uh, emotional reality. He became both more helpful and empathetic and more impatient. There were desperate actions that needed to be taken and there isn't much time left and no one's listening. And of course, you know, having Leah come into his life kind of changed things. He maybe softened a little bit, but he was more determined than ever to make sure that the light was not going to be uh, extinguished. I think the thing that really uh, is Deckard's hallmark is that he cares deeply about the world of Diablo, the history, the lore, and what's happening around him. It's a blessing and a curse because if not him, then who? Nobody. And as dark and as horrible as things are, he does believe that there is a pinprick of light in the darkness that he can help expand and open up. Some people have said that even, you know, going back to D1, just the fact that he was there as a companion really helped them. I was surprised initially how people feel about Deckard Cain. I mean, I'm, yes, and I'm really grateful. You know, whatever impact this character may have had on people, that it's, it's as widespread as it is. I mean, I think the world needs Deckard Cain now and forever. Well, Sanctuary was a world trapped between the two sides of the eternal conflict. It was filled with beauty and danger. A little too much danger, if you ask me. Uh, Tristram, of course, was lovely, though these days perhaps not the uh, ideal landing place for a vacation. Uh, perhaps Chaldeum. I do recall they had excellent food in Chaldeum, although I was almost killed there, too. Oh, heavens, I hope not. I am now in the charge of a young child named Leah. It is my responsibility to protect her from witnessing any of the horrific and soul-robbing sights that I have experienced over my life. There is an ancient prophecy that says humanity shall enjoy peace and happiness forevermore. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a joke. 
I expect we shall see them return soon enough. Or perhaps they've never left. Have you gone insane? Why would I ever want to go there? Have I not suffered enough? Well, I... Uh, I did visit Pandemonium once, and I live to tell about it. That's more than most mortals can claim. But that was enough for me. Oh, I do so certainly hope so. They must be better than demons, eh? At least I'm sure we'll never see an angel wipe out half of humanity again. Oh... Perhaps I should not have said that out loud. Hmm. Ancient myths, as I recall, uh, say that she helped create the world of Sanctuary, and for that we are eternally grateful. She is also rumored to be quite devious, yes. But she was sealed into the Abyss long ago. I doubt we shall ever see her return. Oh, oh no. I, I should not have said that. So, I want to thank you for staying a while and listening to me rattle on. Enjoy BlizzCon Line 2021, and I will see you sometime in the future. Or the past. I'm not sure which is which anymore.